new to WordPress and you are trying to install it and this happens. Hello and welcome. My name is Alistair. I've uh, been into WordPress for more than five years now. And previously, WordPress was so easy to install uh, to the extent that if you watch uh, some videos online, uh, installing it will be pretty much easy. And <clears throat> more so, uh, uh, some hosting providers uh, made it a, a bit simpler. But still, uh, the, the, the Softiculars and Simpanel, uh, uh, they've made it a bit harder for new uh, for newbies out there. So I'm here to help you uh, solve this problem. Uh, popularly, it's called uh, the problem of uh, directory browsing. So uh, 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 last time I did this video, uh, and people were saying I was wasting uh, much time. So let me just give a bit of a background on how this problem happens. The first thing is, um, <clears throat> before you go any further, please subscribe because I'm going to be sharing a lot of WordPress related videos. More so, I don't sell anything. I'm after subscribers only. That motivates me uh, to do content of this sort. Please uh, give this uh, video a thumbs up if it has helped you. I don't want to waste much time. So the previously, websites, you know, before the advent of WordPress, websites were hard-coded and they're still hard-coded. That means people have to do, to, 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 to write code and to place files on a server. So it doesn't necessarily mean that anyone who purchases a website hosting needs WordPress. So they've left a leeway so that those who have hard-coded their websites, uh, they must put their file. So the most important file there is called the index.html, the index.html. That's why, so you would see that if you have a hard-coded website, if you put an index.html file there, it will still uh, show up your website properly. But today we are not here for, for a hard-coded website. More so, that thing uh, has been done so that uh, it becomes easier. You will see when I explain more, it becomes easier for you to uh, uh, install a subdomain in your website. So I will demonstrate everything. I will demonstrate uh, myself installing a new WordPress, uh, then intentionally bring out that error, then solving it. I'm going to solve it the fastest way. If you need the longest way or the two ways to do it, I did a video previously, which I do believe flopped maybe to due to picture quality or delays. So today I'm going to be on point very fast. So see you when I begin to share my screen. Uh, so what I've done here is I have um, uh, um, recreated that is a website. This is into the C panel. Let me show you how the website behaves here. You can see that there is no website. Depending on your hosting provider, you will see this is an empty website before I install anything. So that problems from you installing uh, the WordPress at the wrong way. That's if it can only be if you are using a cPanel. Uh, maybe other, 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 other. There are so many softwares out there, uh, the Cpanel softwares or backend software. Specifically, I'm dealing with uh, Cpanel, which is this Softiculous app installer. So, per se, you are new to the actual website. Maybe in some cases, it will be written with the website name or something like that. They are doing with the website host name or something like that. This is one to install WordPress, and I guess if you encountered that problem, you came here, uh, you installed your WordPress, uh, old WordPress, which I picked up, picked up here. So obviously, if you were new to this, you came here innocently, wanted to install your, your new WordPress, uh, then you came to install, then you decided to install, you put your on your, 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 I'm not going to type in, but this is a sneaker website. So let me just try to type in a few things here. Uh, 
then my blog. I don't care about much stuff. I just want to install it. I will show you where the error is so that we can start at a point so that you see where the error is. So boom, our website is installed. So if we can see that, uh, okay, yeah, uh, let me see, let me see. Uh, yes. Go. So what I want to do is I want to come in here. I want to... Okay, now we have for you manager, in your file manager, that's where you upload your files. Uh, but this is might be a long way, but I argue you to be patient. You need to, 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 to your file manager, file manager, where are you? File manager. So when you come here to your file manager site, you obviously will to, uh, put your index HTML here so that you, it pulls in your files. But that's a high code how they didn't make this intentionally they made it so that ah uh, they made it so that it can be easier for people to uh also install their files they in more so for 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 sub for sub domains so, so the first thing, let's try to solve that issue. So go to our file manager. Then in the particular app installer, you can come also by that. So I click this box icon. So there is our WordPress. You can see that you can surely log in into the backend. But even if after we log in, there's nothing much we can do. With this will pop up unless if you type this address you'll see what 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 was this so if you punch in this is wordpress like usual it comes out in your wordpress a fresh wordpress so the problem lies here what we did we installed our wordpress we were going to install a subdomain that's why it came with this uh for us like is going to be the, the, the website address. So there are two ways to solve this. The first way, if you are impatient enough, you know you don't. So if you are patient enough, I will definitely demonstrate this first way. Or if you have <coughs> if you had de developed your website to, to, to some extent that you don't want to lose your files, I will show you another way which you can skip if it's still new you can still just go with this shortcut so the shortcut will be to delete the new installation the installation so i will show you where the error was so i return to wordpress management i want to install a new wordpress so the error was here you they come pre uh uh, uh pre -filling which is a directory in your files so what happens this works more on subdomains i would just demonstrate what's a subdomain what you do here you must make sure that this is empty so make sure that this is empty then you install your wordpress it's empty so if you leave it that empty that space empty you will see that then your wordpress I, I load it now. Let me load it. If I load it, there we go. Our new WordPress is in. If we try to log in, we can still log in into our packet and to see some miracles. So that's the first way to solve that. So the second method, if you are patient enough, second method uh to solve this so let's assume uh that we 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 we, we let me delete it one like, let's assume that you had developed this, your website you didn't care much about what was happening you thought maybe some error some inch 
product your website. So the next method to solve this would be uh, to let me show you. Let me just install a new WordPress. Room. So here we go. I install it. A bit. Then I have installed it. Again, if I try to punch in this normal website because I've uh, I mean website. So we have a, an old website here. So you can see it. So what I'm going, I'm going to do here to modify the website. I remove this table prefix. <laughs> uh, I copy. I must make sure that I know the database and the database name. So I just copy it here and the database user. Okay, there I go. Uh, because I'm it here so that it's easy. Okay, so the copy it here. And I punch it. This is to make sure that I don't lose anything. So I punch everything. It's copied. So I've modified here. I also come here and modify here. So before modifying much. Go to file managers, then we will just uh, uh, then save that information. Let me go to file manager quickly. File manager, this book. I go to file manager. Okay, let me not disturb this. I go to file manager. File manager. I locate the file. I want to locate that WP file. I will demonstrate the last uh, thing. Why that that thing is happening, or why it's necessary for for them to to to, to play through. So what I want to do all files. This, I want to bring them to public HTML out of this folder. So what I will do is I will say move uh, extension. Then I say move all those files that been moved. The folder remains empty. I delete that folder. But Okay, so I come back. I hope this is not long. I come back. Uh, I'm great. I'm great now. I come back. Uh, there is anything which needs. Okay, so what has happened? I've uh, changed that directory. So I come. Uh, uh, I save the details. Yes, I save. The details have been saved. But you will still see that if I come to. To, to the website here. Yes, I think the problem is solved instantly. Instantly, the problem will be solved. So let's say you are encountering problems. Uh, so let me let me redo this again so that you, you see what I did. So what I did to it with another with another. So what happened there was that uh, functionality is there for you to do. Yes. So you can say on the same website you want also maybe this is a service website you want this to be a shop. So you come here www.chatkicks.com or do so do for slash shop or maybe for a slash you want to do a service so this one different not a page but a new website. Maybe you want to say services. Let's demonstrate this. I say hey, come here. They say shop. That's a subdomain for you. <laughs> so we have our subdomain now. www.chatkicks for a slash shop. That's that's a totally uh okay. Let me do this. So you can see that this is a totally Type in. I don't have time to demonstrate everything, every different, but these are two separate entities. That's why that functionality is there. So let's go to file manager in an attempt to explain what I did then to remove file. So you can see that the subdomain is created in our know, uh, file manager, it has its own file similar to the 
uh, сразу слишком при uh, Принцип how to develop your first website using Elementor and a lot more other stuff which I don't so it's popping thank you uh, very much <clears throat> thank you thank you thank you thank you I can't thank you enough